Welcome in Slump Busters. We are back with it. just a little quick hitter. We want to preview that Thursday night game. We have the battle of the last two number one overall picks, Trevor Lawrence and Joe Burrow going at it head to head for the first time in their NFL careers. Thursday night, Jags 0-3 going into this game, going against the 2-1 Cincinnati Bengals. Now, the first thing I will say is I am rooting for the Cincinnati Bengals this season. Starting off 2-1, they had that real close victory over the Minnesota Vikings. Had a bad game against Chicago where Joe Burrow just had multiple turnovers. But then they bounced back and curb stomped the Steelers. And if they win this game, if they could go three and one, are we talking about the potential wild card team of the Cincinnati Bengals? Because after a while, it starts to become a math equation there. And at three and one, they have as good of odds as anyone. They're going against the Jaguars. Obviously, they're going to be a favorites in this one. Currently, they are seven and a half point favorites, which is a little bit of a heavy line there between two teams that are somewhat close in terms of talent level. Kyle, how are you feeling about this game going into it? Are you at least excited? I mean, Thursday night game, I know it's between two teams that we consider mid-level, but still, you know, there is some headlines to like about this one. I mean, come on, it's the LSU Bengals against the Clemson Jaguars at this point. This is going to be a great matchup here where, well, I guess Urban Meyer is technically Ohio State. But still, this is going to be a fun little matchup that we got here. And one of the things that I found interesting about the Bengals so far is the curb stopping of the Steelers, like you said, was something that was unexpected. But all, all the things that we kind of thought would go wrong with the Bengals have kind of been the same that it was. Their offensive line is still not great. Joe Burrow still gets hit a lot. The part that makes it better is that they've invested so much in the weapons where Joe Burrow may not, you know, sometimes can get the ball off in two and a half seconds and, and still be great. Joe Mixon has had this magical career revitalization in the first three and a half weeks of the season. Like, all of a sudden, he's second in the league in rushing yards at this point. And I, the Bengals can't be more happy about that, I would say. I don't know if it'll keep up, but boy, you got to be happy about how that's gone so far. And the Bengals have like three pass rushers now with uh, Sam Hubbard, who I've kind of joked about before, and Trey Hendrickson, both having, I think, two sacks already this year between the two of them, which is a, a big victory for, for the Cincinnati Bengals. I know they had four as a team against the Steelers, which is, you know, the Steelers, you don't, ben, Big Ben doesn't get hit all that much, even though the offensive line isn't as great this year for Pittsburgh. So if you're the Bengals, are they going to make the playoffs? No, the, the, their schedule gets so difficult towards the back end of the season. They got Packers, they got the Chiefs, they got the Chargers, they got the Raiders, like they got to play Baltimore twice. They got, a, they got Cleveland twice still. They got a rough schedule this year. So will they make the playoffs? No, but I think this is still the fact that they aren't like one in three or oh and four at the end of four weeks and Zach Taylor's not immediately being talked about being fired is a victory for the Bengals. It's that these two drafts have actually gotten them legitimate talent after everything looked like it was falling apart in 2019. So Juju, it's seven and a half. I'm rolling with the Cincinnati Bengals to win and cover the spread in this game. Jacksonville just doesn't have the defense to keep up with them at this point. They just traded CJ Henderson, who was drafted less than 18 months ago, which, you know, if you get Dan Arnold in the trade, I guess that might help you on offense a little bit. But I was surprised that they couldn't get a second round pick for CJ Henderson. So, by the way, fun stat in games that CJ Henderson started for the Jaguars, the Jaguars went 0 and 12 during his time. So, that is uh, a rough break there for CJ, but you get to go to the Carolina Panthers, who have kind of yeah. peaked at this point. To go 0-3 to 3-0 and overnight in a trade, I think that's a pretty good deal if you're CJ Henderson right there. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention, so you mentioned losing a CJ Henderson and the defensive back things. Now, as much as I hated the Jamar Chase uh, drafting at the time of it, because I was more on the Penny Soul thing, I've obviously mentioned that the Bengals offensive line is still in fact bad, but fun rookie stat here. How many total touchdowns has this rookie wide receiving class produced? I know there's four from Chase. I know that only because Jamar Chase is my wide receiver two in fantasy now. So that's a nice little victory. Waddle might have one if he has any at all. Bateman hasn't played yet. There was another wide receiver. Devonta Smith has one, the first one against the Falcons. Uh, who else is in that rookie class? I'll go eight. That's my guess. 
you were close, but you did bid over. So I'm sorry, you're disqualified. The price is wrong in this case. Seven, and obviously you mentioned it earlier, Jamar Chase has four of those. Four out of the seven touchdowns for rookie wide receivers. So he has lived up to his draft stock so far to this point. You mentioned it, the Bengals, can they cover seven and a half? You know, this might be a little bit different than what we do on the full podcast here, including the betting lines. But yes, I do agree. I will see the Bengals winning this one. I think this is a big opportunity for the Bengals. You mentioned it might get a little bit weird for them late. Their schedule gets a little bit tougher. I did project them as a seven win team going into the year. And right now they are clearly on pace to either match or exceed that expectation. So good on the Bengals, good on Zach Taylor, because Obviously, this is a make or break year, whether he gets to see those uh, draft picks truly get to live out their NFL careers. That remains to be seen. But in this particular matchup on Thursday Night Football, the Cincinnati Bengals from Juju Talk Sports and Kyle Ledbetter, we foresee them taking the W. All right, Slump Busters, go ahead and check us out on all of our social media platforms. Leave a like on this video, comment below your thoughts on the Thursday Night Game. Subscribe to this channel as we push towards 2,000 subscribers and Check out our partner, kmancoffeco.com, because you're not a chump. You're going to use promo code SUMP and save yourself 15% off your next purchase of delicious cold brew coffee. Stay safe, happy, and healthy. We'll see you next time.